Hey guys, hold on to your hats because SpaceX has just achieved yet another milestone with the flawless launch of its third Starship flight from the Starbase, also known as the Gateway to Mars located in South Texas. Flight Director Ty Huntington telling the team we are go for launch, so 20 seconds to go. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, This launch, arguably the most spectacular in recent memory, showcased the remarkable performance of the 33 Raptors, which operated flawlessly throughout the mission. It's incredible to see how far the reliability of Raptors has come since the initial flight, where multiple engines experienced issues during ascent. 30 seconds into flight, we are feeling the rumble. We are seeing 33 out of 33 Raptor engines ignited on the Super Heavy booster. Kudos to the Raptor teams for this significant improvement. Acquisition of Thingo, Corpus Christi. The hot staging process proceeded smoothly, marking an improvement from the previous flight. Additionally, the booster's boost back burn was executed successfully, demonstrating the continued refinement of SpaceX's technology. Booster's now making its way back, seeing six engines ignited on ship. Kate, we got a Starship on its way to space and a booster on the way back to the Gulf. Both the booster and the ship met all major milestones during the early stages of the flight, with a Super Heavy displaying exceptional performance until it lost aerodynamic control just before relighting its 13 inner Raptor engines, leading to an uncontrolled descent and the activation of the flight termination system, FTS. Let's see if that'll work. Acquisition of signal. Let's see if we can get some other video of that. Now, uh, this is a test objective today. It is still something that we're attempting to learn. Um, and to However, the highlight of the launch was undoubtedly the coasting phase of Starship S28, offering breathtaking HD views courtesy of the Starlink terminals on board the ship. These views were truly otherworldly and marked a historic moment as S-28 became the first starship to reach orbit after years of dedication from the project team. Despite losing a few tiles during the flight, S-28 successfully endured re-entry thanks to the resilience of its heat shield tiles. To slow us down. Uh... Now, like we said, this plasma field Right now, it is not. The Starlinks are still... brought to you by Starlink. <laughs> yeah, the Starlinks are still communicating and still uh, capturing the data and the video that we see here. I mean... Sadly, the mission took a somber turn when S-28 ceased transmitting signals just moments before splashdown in the Indian Ocean, ultimately resulting in its loss. Telemetry data revealed that S-28 was tumbling uncontrollably during its final moments. Nevertheless, SpaceX managed to gather valuable data and achieve crucial mission objectives, including the successful orbital insertion of S-28, testing of the PEZ door system, and demonstrating an orbit propellant transfer between tanks. For enthusiasts closely following SpaceX and Starship development, this launch undoubtedly stands out as the best yet. If you share this sentiment or have differing opinions, feel free to share them in the comments below. These initial observations only scratch the surface, as SpaceX plans to release a comprehensive report following the analysis of flight data. As for the launch pad, it appears to have sustained minimal damage and should require only minor repairs. That wraps up this video. Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, keep your eyes on the stars.